Bronco with me here. And we are going to, I already clipped his nails, but I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, because this is, he really, this, this method doesn't work for every dog, okay? So I'm going to place about six to eight treats there on that step. And you don't want to place them on the ground because if they're too low, he's got to look down. And then that obstructs like how he's standing. So you're only going to get one toe at a time done for now. And it's just because we're in the early stages of learning how to let us do this. And that's totally fine. So I'm going to pick up the foot while he's eating the treats. And you see how he's kind of resisting me a little bit? There, as soon as he stops resisting and trying to pull that foot away, I'm gonna go ahead and let him have it back. And if you'll notice, I didn't even touch him with the toenail clippers that time, right? Um, because I don't want him to be jerking, trying to jerk his foot out of my hand while I'm trying to clip his toenails because that could accidentally make me hit the quick and that would be very painful for him. It's essentially like hitting the cuticle on your nail. Good boy. And then that could have a, re uh, re like a resounding effect on him for the rest of his life. Some dogs, they get clipped accidentally on the nail once. They never want to have their feet done again. And like, that's totally understandable. It hurt. So <clears throat> what we're going to do here, and his nails actually looked really good. There was not a whole lot to take off. So this is just kind of what we're doing is gently going down. And if he does resist a little bit, what are y'all doing? Excuse me. Um, and if he does resist a little bit, that's okay. That's perfectly normal. But we're just going to be nice and patient with him. Can you spin around? Good boy. And now I'm just going to kind of demonstrate on this side that's closer. Good boy. Reach down and pick that foot up, right? I'm going to place those treats there. And then while he's eating the treats, if they were still on the step, he's looking for them. I'm going to come in, clip one toenail, let him have that foot back and be done. Re-put my treats out. And we're just going to use a couple treats at a time so that way he's not getting too many. But prior to this step, we always, always, always want to make sure that our dog is okay with us picking their feet up. So again, I've got a treat in my hand here. And I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna let him lick at it while I'm touching on his shoulder and notice he's hi he's not backing away if he was backing away we'd start slower I'm gonna pick that foot up it's okay he got good boy see how he's not trying to pull that foot back I'm gonna go ahead and let him have it and I don't want to keep his foot I just want to touch it right now I'm gonna do the back one because the back ones tend to be a little bit more difficult and this is the one that he's got that little boo-boo on Good boy! And it's okay that he's not standing perfectly straight. We'll get to that later. We can't ask for perfection up front. Excuse you. We can't ask for perfection up front, right? And then lots and lots and lots of love in between. And like I said, I already cut his actual toenails. They look really, really nice. Um, if they are scratching you, <laughs> if his toenails are on you, we're going to work more on requesting him to keep his feet on the ground right so anytime that you have a for lack of a better word a loud personality dog like this he's a very sweet boy I like this dog a lot um but he has a lot of energy so we're gonna make sure that anytime we're working with him around him if you let him out of his crate or something like that or let him in from being outside and he's just all over you make sure that the next time you do that you have a toy in your hand because that will redirect his energy from trying to put his mouth on you to showing him something that he can in fact put his mouth on such as a toy. Um, something else that you can do and it may not quite work for a dog that has as much energy as he does but same type of scenario you know you come home you let him out of the crate you know you come home uh, bring him in from inside or outside whatever have a treat in your pocket um, or have treats somewhere by your back door because that's going to keep his attention focused more on you and then you can also work on um, having him go out the door slowly instead of busting through the door like a bat coming out of hell. Um, just a couple quick things there but that's how you get him sensitized to having his feet done and he did really well having his feet done. Very very pleased with it. Very very pleased with you. 
No kiss. Yeah, of course you could have kisses. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you, bro.